Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today I'm going to review the Blu-ray release of Fast Color. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and put up videos every single day. You can also find me over Twitter and Instagram at Movie Guy 365. Fast Color, directed by Julia Hart and written by Julia Hart and Jordan Her Herowitz. Um, I, this is a, a one of those smaller type films. It did have a very limited select uh, release run in the theaters, and I didn't get a chance to see it, unfortunately, but I, this definitely caught my interest. Uh, basically, the story is a young girl, you know, who has uh, superpowers that lives in a not-so-distant future where water is becoming a very scarce commodity, and it's pretty much like the currency of the time. It's very a bleak kind of future. I'll, I'll touch on the color palette uh, in the actual review, but just say it's a charming, charming little story. Basically, it's just you know tr her trying to you know being discovered that she has these abilities, uh, being hunted for them, and she's trying to return home to her family and the in the protection that she thinks that it will provide. It's a very interesting story. It's not a huge blockbuster. It's a small tale, but I do appreciate films like this. And I'm happy to say I really, really did enjoy it. I think the acting was very, very good all around. I enjoyed the story overall, and I think you should definitely check it out on that basis alone. So as far as the Blu-ray uh, goes, we're given a very nice, clean-looking image. There's Typically with movies like this, uh, you only hear dystopian future, you're thinking, oh, it's going to be gray, bleak, depressing. There are fair amounts of color pop that really, really stand out. I, I, like, I appreciate that kind of an image. It's not like, you know, Mad Max style landscape or anything. You know, there, there are stores and people and cops running around, you know, doing their thing. But it's just, it's a, it's bleak in kind of just the resources have started running out on the planet. And, you know, they do focus on a area that is not like a huge city, that kind of landscape. So they, they mostly relegate it to countryside locations, which I think actually works in the film's favor. I do enjoy it. I think uh, overall that the picture quality is very, very good. There are several scenes that I feel looked really, really nice. There was a uh, shot of her walking up the road at uh, sunrise, I believe, and the, the, the reds and purples of the sky just looked really nice, really nice. And of course, she's carrying around this green backpack, and the green just stands out really, really nicely. I like the image overall. In fact, there is a, a 4K, I believe, Dolby Vision uh, iTunes version out there. I'm actually tempted to give that get that one a try. I think the HDR 4K would really benefit from this. I am a physical collector, so I, I will stick with that. But in certain circumstances, why not own both? You know, you can have the physical disc and the uh, 4K digital copy as well. It, the, the audio wise, we're given a DTS 5.1. It's a serviceable track. There, are, while there are moments of action here and there, this is mostly a quote unquote traveling picture. There isn't a whole lot of ambient sound that I could detect. Not a whole lot of LFE going on. It kicks in when it needs to. But this, you know, despite her, the use of her abilities, you get a nice little vibration here and there. I, it's okay. You know, it, it, it's not nothing that's going to set the world on fire, but I think it's a very serviceable audio track. It's worth, you know, having a surround sound on at the very least for it. I don't believe that this is something that you should watch just through your TV with the natural speakers. A sound bar surround sound system, I think, would be the preferred viewing in this case. Overall, I really, really did like Fast Color. I think it's absolutely worth a pickup at your local store. If you can't get it at your local store, you know, get the digital copy. Just be aware of what you're getting into as far as ownership rates go. But I feel that it is it was worth checking out in both formats. I, you know, it's it's just a, a very well done movie. I appreciate the the work that went behind it. I think it's cool. And I'm glad to own it in my collection. So let me know in the comments below if you plan to pick up Fast Color in any format. And in the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification, and put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365. I will see you at the movies.